Steve Evans, 15 minutes in there, we feared the worst. Yeah, listen, they, they've paid us a huge compliment, haven't they? They've come here and made only a goalkeeper change from a, for a team that, um, that tore Queen's Park Rangers apart, really. You can't describe it in any other fashion. And having to watch it twice, it could have been double that score. So when you look at the team, you know they're going to have um, be on the front foot, full of confidence. And we struggled to deal with it. So we, after 15 minutes, probably people seeing this, they didn't want to change our shape. We changed our shape and the momentum of the game changed. And I think then over the first half and certainly in the second half, we should probably win it in normal play. I know our goalkeeper said a couple of saves very late, but we got in some good areas. And the new rules will drive every manager in the, in the land crazy. I look at one player who slaps a player, stays on the field of play. I look at another player who kicks the ball away. He stays, he's on a yellow. Both were on yellows and stay on yellows. Um, but I suppose that'll be the frustration that the Watford Gaffer has some weeks as well. We're all coming to, to ask for that. And then penalties, as we know, you win them, you lose them. Um, and, you know, we're just happy in that we've been able to make some changes tonight, rest one or two, and be at full strength Watford, which is, which is fantastic. Some big performances from the players that were certainly on there, and uh, none bigger than the big man up front, Aaron Presley. Yeah, I thought, uh, listen, I can't just name Aaron. I think we worked really hard to get Aaron. You know, we spent the whole of the summer trying to get him to put pen to paper, and that's why he commanded a lot of interest. And my thoughts to, to Leon and the chairman was, was a hand clap, really, when he said he was coming to sign. So I'd done my bit meeting him several times. Um, but I think all over the pitch we were good tonight. I think the young man from Manchester City is will play at a good level. Will he, will he be good enough to play for Manchester City? That's Pep Guardiola's business, not mine. But he developed nicely. I thought he was outstanding up alongside a, a number of players who, who played really well. We had to play really well. We don't kid ourselves. We had to play really well. Uh, just to contain and be in the game against this side. They're, they're just full of talents, a football club that I, that I really like. And, you know, I know of the owner and I know of the, the chief exec. They're, they're really good, experienced football people and they've got a top manager. They'll have a, they'll have a super season in the championship. So we'll take a win and we'll wish Watford every good luck. Yeah, you must have been really pleased with the way your players reacted to that opening spell from Watford because they turned it around and they, they, they must take huge credit for that. Yeah, listen, if we're being critical, we give a silly free kick away. We allow them an opportunity to put a good ball into the box. I think we should defend it better. I'll look at it back. I think we should defend it between the sticks better. We should defend it. We allow a man to run off as unmarked. So that's disappointing. But I think then to stay in the game, it was a we had to find a way to stay in it just for that 10, 15 minutes. We did. And then there was a, a lot of break in play and we were able to affect some changes to the, to the formation we were playing and the style of play. And that, and that really worked for us. And then, obviously, we got a bit of a momentum. We got the goal and we, we looked on the front foot. But, you know, it's it's a win in the Carabao, which is great. But the focus immediately turns to playing Shrewsbury here on Tuesday. Obviously, the draw tomorrow evening. Some big names coming into that as well. Is that what you want, a big name? Or do you, would you just want to progress? Yeah, I think just at home. I think we were, we're all excited, if we're being honest, when we seen we'd drawn Watford. I think if you're in Hertfordshire, then... Watford is a huge club, if not the biggest club, and I'm not insulting to Luton in any way, but Watford is a huge club. You know, I look at where they've been in their history. I look at Sir Elton John. I've paid enough over the years to to pay at his concerts with the family, um, and the, and they're just a just a club that treat you in, in the right way every way. So we wish them well, but we'll focus on ourselves. We'll try and get ready for um, for Shrewsbury. We took one or two knocks tonight. We had one or two, hence why we had to look after one or two players today. And, and myself and Leon and, and her boss will continue to try as hard as we can to to add a player or two to the group because we, we really need them as people now. You just touched on it, but we looked at the team sheet before the game and perhaps the alarm bells did start to ring when there was only five subs made. Yeah, listen, I could have named nine. I could, I could have brought kids up, but we're not going to put them onto the field of play. They've been with us all pre-season. Some of them will be really good players for this football club, really good players. But are they ready to go into a pitch with the, with the Watford boys? No, they're not ready for that. And I don't want to put them in an atmosphere or put them in a situation where it sends a development in the opposite direction for where we've taken it from when we joined the football club to some of those kids still train with us every day. We really like them. And then, and obviously, we had to make some decisions about players, whether we included them in the squad. For example, the captain, you know, we left him out. He just, he just felt a little tightness in training yesterday. So we, I made the decision to, to take him out. 
but we'll, we'll continue. Last season we had a wonderful season, wonderful cup run, everything, and we every time we seemed to take the field to play, we made four and five changes because no first team squad. There is no stars. There is no automatic starters. It's um, it's 20, 21 lads and hopefully 23 lads competing to to be in the team. And I just said to them in there for the boys that's just joined us, have a word with the lads up here last year and that what it resembles. When we started last season, we four and five changes. When it went Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, that's when we we need to protect the group. And importantly as well, there's a lot of happy faces leaving the Lambic Stadium this evening. Yeah, I thought thought the atmosphere was great. I think both both sets of supporters, the supporters always sing and give it the best. It's always brilliant when you see their way in sold out. That was never in doubt when we when we drew Watford. Really, the television camera should be here, but I don't work in Hollywood. I work in Stevenage, <laughs> and um, so from that point of view, uh, we'll we'll just hope that the draw is kind to us and, and we're at home. That's all we can ask. Doesn't matter who we draw, let's let's bring them to the Lamex and, and we'll try and make progress again and. If it's for us, it happens. If it's not, we'll concentrate on our bread and butter, which is an old saying, but it's, it's a truthful saying for the big step we've made to League One.